Hi everybody, uh, this is uh, a calculator project based on a PIC 16F690 with a two line uh, 16 character LCD display and a 4x4 matrix uh, keypad. Uh, the idea is just to uh, add, subtract, multiply and divide to integer numbers. Um, and then display the result on the uh, LCD, just like a conventional calculator. Um, so the project um, basically requires you to enter four key presses. Um, the first key press would be a, a number from zero to nine. So I'll enter something like eight. And you can see that come up now on the uh, LCD. Um, then we need to enter uh, an arithmetic uh, operator, in other words, plus, minus, multiply or divide. I've um, put those, fun those uh, functions on the A, B, C and D keys here. So we've got uh, plus A, minus is B, uh, multiply is C and D is divide. So um, in this case we're going to um, make an addition and you can see the operator is displayed again on the LCD. Uh, now we need to enter a second number from 0 to 9 so I'm going to enter say 1 and uh, upon pressing the equals key which I've had to use this hash key down here as the equals key um, the software then calculates the result uh, and displays the result on the LCD for five seconds before then clearing the screen ready for a new um, a new calculation. Okay, so um, we should see that happen now. So eight plus one obviously is nine. Um, and now the screen should uh, clear. Okay, so um, the keypad is, is scanned by sequentially um, setting a row high and then testing to see if the uh, if the columns there's four rows and four columns testing to see if the column has, has also gone high. Um, we use port C for this. Four bits of it uh, are outputs connected to the rows, and then four bits are uh, inputs and connected to the columns. Um, port B uh, drives the LCD uh, module in four bit mode just to save IO pins. Um, at the moment, the project can only can cope with um, inputs, numeric inputs between zero and nine, uh, and also results up to nine only, which is quite limiting in a calculator. But to go further, would need uh, really a function to split the result up in, into individual digits, uh, which would need a, a modulo function, which I'll, I'll probably do in a later video. But at the moment, that is a limitation of the uh, the software. I'll just show you a few more operations. So seven minus three, it's obviously four. Um, two multiplied by three, be six, obviously. Um, division is uh, a tricky one. 8 divided by 2 is 4. The reason I say division is tricky is that integer division um, only uh, doesn't, doesn't take into account any remainder element. Uh, so if we do 7 divided by 5, we'll get the result one, but obviously the remainder two has been lost, and that's the part that would need to be implemented, as I mentioned a minute ago, um, using the modulo function. Um, in terms of software, um, it's quite modular. I, I'll put a link to the software below the video so that you can uh, have a play yourself. Um, it's written in C. Um, Obviously, the, there's an initialization of the LCD in 4-bit mode. Um, 
There's a function to display uh, numbers and operators on the LCD. Uh, there's a splash screen which says fills calculator, which just starts up. I'm just going to reset the processor now. Um, just starts from um, from power up. Um, there's a read, key, read keyboard um, function as well using switch case um, statement um, and that returns the key press to the main function. Uh, in the main loop um, there's a scan of a scanning routine of each row and each column of the keyboard so the keyboard is constantly monitored for key presses in the main function. Um, the key value um, detected by the read key um, function is stored in a small array um, and the operator value in other words plus minus multiply or divide is tested um, in a if statement and then the calculation is then done and displayed on the LCD for five seconds. I hope you've enjoyed the video I'll just give you a quick once over of the circuit to make this work in case you want to build it. Um, no fancy CAD here, but um, as you can see, we've got the 4x4 keypad on the left, uh, the 16F 690T in the middle, and the LCD on the right hand side. Um, very straightforward, so if you want to have a go at it, by all means, do and hope you have fun. Okay, bye for now.